today's session is about properties of multiplication and this is the learning goal illustrates the properties of multiplication the identity property zero property and commutative property so let us recall first our lesson about multiplication as repeated addition give the addition and multiplication sentence of the following all right first question two jumps of four very good that is four plus four equals eight and our multiplication sentence is correct two times four equals eight next three sets of six what's your answer very good it's six plus six plus six equals 18 okay three sets of six you're going to add six three times and multiplication sentence is all right very good three times six equals 18 okay next four rows of five how many times are you going to add five very good four times so five plus five plus five plus five equals 20 and the multiplication sentence is four times five equals 20 very good next the last question five blocks of 10 all right amazing yes it's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 50. okay you will add 10 five times all right and the multiplication sentence is 5 times 10 equals 50. yay very good children all right so let's answer this problem of the day mom has five vases of flowers on monday she placed three flowers in each vase. The following day, she only used three vases and placed five flowers in each vases. How many flowers did she use in two days? What property of multiplication is being shown? Alright, let's find out, okay? So, here is the solution, right? On Monday, she used five vases and put three flowers in each. Okay, that's the illustration. And the addition for that will be, addition sentence will be, great, three plus three plus three plus three plus three equals 15. And our multiplication sentence is five times three equals 15 okay and then on tuesday she used three vases and put five flowers in each right okay and so our addition sentence will be five plus five plus five equals 15 and our multiplication sentence is three times five equals 15 all right do you notice something with the multiplication sentences okay all right very good so the total of the flowers is 30 all right 30 okay we can also have another solution using block model okay so we can say that each unit each block is three so there are five blocks right and for Tuesday, each block represents 5. Okay, so there are also 3 blocks. I did 5, so that's 15. So let's get the total. Yes, it's 30. Because the total for Monday, there are 15 flowers. And then Tuesday, there are also 15 flowers. So 30 in all. So let's go back to the problem. Okay. So how many flowers did she use in 2 days? Correct. Mother used 30 flowers in all. And do you know what property of multiplication is being shown? Okay, let's find out. So that will be our topic for today, right? The properties of multiplication. 
Okay, let's look at these multiplication sentences. 5 times 1 equals 5. 2 times 1 equals 2. 10 times 1 equals 10. 3 times 1 equals 3. 4 times 1 equals 4. What do you notice? Correct! That when you multiply a number by 1, the answer or the product is the given number. Very good! And do you know what property is that of multiplication? Okay! Alright, so that is what we call identity property of multiplication. One is the identity element of multiplication. Okay, so any number multiplied by one, the product is the given number. Okay, alright, next. Let's look at these multiplication sentences. Five times zero equals zero. 2 times 0 equals 0. 10 times 0 equals 0. 3 times 0 equals 0. And 4 times 0 equals 0. So what do you notice? Yes, that when you multiply a number by 0, the answer is 0. Very good. Okay, any number multiplied by 0, the product is zero and that is what we call zero property of multiplication right so it states that any number multiplied by zero the product is zero okay 100 times zero equals zero okay 1 million e times zero equals zero all right okay how about these multiplication sentences all right look two times three equals six three times two equals six okay next five times ten equals fifty then ten times five equals fifty and then four times six equals twenty four 6 times 4 equals 24. What do you notice, children? Yes! Right? Look at the factors. 2 times 3 equals, equals 6. And then 3 times 2 equals 6. So the factors were interchanged. You changed the position of the factors, right? But the product is still the same right so when the order of the factors changes the product will still be the same okay the product was not affected all right and that is what we call commutative property of multiplication okay that it states that the change in order of the factors will not affect the product okay all right so let's go back to the problem of the day what property of multiplication is being shown 3 times 5 equals 15 5 times 3 equals 15 yes it is commutative property of multiplication all right okay let's practice children okay all right give or fill in the missing number and identify the property of multiplication being shown okay so i will be showing you the questions okay there are five questions all right let's start with question number one seven times four equals four times very good seven okay and then what property is that Correct. Commutative property. Next. 15 times blank equals 0. Yes, 0. And that is 0 property. Next. Blank times 25 equals 25. So what's the missing number? Yes, it's 1. Very good. And the property is? Correct. Identity property. 
Next, number 4, 10 times 1 equals? Correct, 10. And that is also the same as? Number 3, okay, identity property. And the last one, 5 times blank equals 8 times 5. What is the missing number? Yes, it's 8. And that is? Or that shows? Yes, commutative property of multiplication. Alright, children. Thank you again for being with me today. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope that you learned something today. So, if you don't have any questions, alright, I'll see you again next meeting. Don't forget to click and hit the notification bell. Please subscribe and like this video. Alright, it means a lot. Okay, bye everyone. God bless you all.